Hey, fellas. And I said we had a bunch of these games. Uh, clan members all been sending in some great replays. And uh, uh, we have Jug, the Jugulator, our Canadian friend from the north. And he is running the Type 64. Uh, this tank has actually become kind of a uh, clan favorite. Uh, there's a lot of guys running this tank uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I mean, it's it's really good for what uh, for what it does for what it is and what it does. You know, being a premium tank, um, it's actually it's a little bit over uh, what it's a little overpowered, maybe just a tad bit. Now, this tank is interesting in the fact that it is actually a it's kind of a Chinese Hellcat. Uh, I mean, it, it, that's literally what you could call it. This is kind of actually what the Hellcat was like before it's nerfed so many, so many moons ago. So he moves up, moves down to the 9-0 line, doing his best to uh, put some shells into the VK. Misses. Uh, I have this tank. I haven't ever really actually played it that whole lot. Um, he's uh, having a hell of a time. He does get a nice uh, track shot on him, uh, but doesn't get to finish him off. So he waits a little bit. Uh, misses. <laughs> craziness, craziness. He has a louche off to the side over here. Uh, he's got one one of those tier 6 light tanks down. Um, he's moving. He doesn't want that helmet to find him. Uh, they all move up into the cap. And they're apparently trying to uh, run a cap out on the team here. Now they've pushed all to the... Uh, essentially the 9-0 with one OI experimental and Excelsior on the bottom side. And they have in front of them one she knew. So this is an, actually an encounter mode. And uh, so you you know you literally have a um, the cap points in the middle and they both spawns on their sides. Uh, M8A1 he apparently is a uh, some sort of genius Rommel. Uh, I don't know. Apparently he's really good. So in other words, uh, he's got a shot at the T-3045. Uh, you can tell, uh, I mean, for being such a favorite of everybody, this thing, uh, from what I saw of the game so far, uh, has a, uh, seems to have a hard time with the, uh, the uh, hitting things. But like I said, that could be, I, I have no idea what kind of crew these guys are running. None of that stuff, so... Uh, but he is getting a few shots in on this uh, SU-85. It kind of, kind of seems kind of reminds me of a uh, Cromwell type gun. You know, kind of uh, questionable uh, accuracy one time, once in a while. So he's up to 241 hit points, and he's playing this thing a little bit more like a medium than uh, than an actual scout, which I think is fine because it's uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, as a light tank at tier six, it's pretty hard to say that this is actually an actual scout tank, you know, this is, this is all about, uh, the, uh, the medium play style of this tank. So he's moving around, knocking tanks out, uh, roughly 11 minutes into the game, or th actually 12 minutes into the game, and, uh, they're actually down a tank. So his team's kind of, uh, spread everywhere from the A-line to the K-line, <laughs> uh, which, which is going to be interesting. And I didn't realize how much, you know, like I said, I have the tank, but I, I haven't played it for years. Uh, apparently, I need to uh, brush it off and uh, try to get it out of the garage and maybe take some spins, spins around in this uh, fairly quick machine. Um, you know, it's got a good reload. Apparently, it has some pretty good pen on it. Um, so, to kind of progress the game here, I think he dropped in a cap here to see if he can pull some of them guys off of that two-line ridge, and that seems like where they're all pretty much just hanging out right now. Um, you know, M3 Churchill, uh, the OI, I think it's up there too. So by, be, by being able to pull him out, hopefully they'll come down here and, uh, uh, you know, push into here, uh, giving his team some shots. Uh, so he's got an M3 lead that's uh, going to be the first taker of this little, bro this little uh, project. So moves around, see if he can get some shots on these guys. Finds the Churchill. Uh, gets a nice shot into the Churchill. Finds a Hetzer. 
Wow, head sir, look at that. Puts a shot in the head sir. Puts another shot in the head sir. Head sir misses. I think it uh, looks like the head sir's not using the derp gun. Um, but, you know. <sighs> okay. Uh, so he's still on cap. Still making, he's still putting the pressure on him. He, want, he wants them to come down here. And they are. They're obliging him uh, slowly but surely. Uh, and, and that's exactly what he's doing. Now, see, so he's got a crumb on with him. Um, they have some targets off to the side. A T40 moves up, puts a shell into the T40, puts another shell into the T40, and apparently his accuracy gets better as the, the longer he plays here. Finishes off the T40, puts him up almost a thousand hit damage. He's got to push with an OI. Um, this is where it gets a little interesting. Uh, you know, they're down tanks right now, and they're having to deal with. Uh, a little bit of everything here. He's got heavies uh, and whatnot. Hummel puts it in, tracks him. Uh, Crusader is dead. Uh, there are two artilleries, kind of an idea where he's at. So he's like, yeah, enough, I get him out of here. So now he's all about going to be playing the vision game. He's going to be using his uh, vision and his rapid fire gun to uh, finish these guys off. Finishes OI off. He's got one chance with his M4. M4 is using the derp gun, which is great as long as you're within about a 20 meters or something. You're going to hit some shit. But he doesn't. The jug says, ah, fuck you guys. So he's off. He's only got 18 shells left. And they are down three tanks. Uh, and uh, this, this is going to be interesting. Now the, now the enemy team is taking the cap. So now, now he's, he's got a Churchill... Three and he's got a M3 Lee there and an M4 that's moving in that direction. Um, his Excelsior seems to be more interested in dying. M4 finishes him off and that leaves this M3 Lee uh, for him to uh, try to finish it off. M8A1 still giving advice. Uh, I, I, I haven't not surely what shirt he's been doing most of the game. I guess I haven't been paying attention. Uh, seems like he's been driving around a lot and talking. So he's up to 1,400 damage. It's two versus six. And he is currently on the lookout for his fifth kill. Finishes him off, leaving him against here with against the Churchill. Comes around, and this rate of fire on this thing is ridiculous. I mean, he's right in there with the Churchill for sheer rate of fire. Gets a little ballsy there. Charges the uh, light tank. Fin <laughs> finishes off the uh, finishes off the Churchill. Gets the M4. Leaves him with uh, now a two on three. So we have the Chinu and two artillery pieces. <sighs> so they know where the artillery is at. Uh, he's up to two, almost 2,000 damages. He's got 11 shells left. He's got a Chinu to kill. He's in 230. Most likely, we kind of have to know where the, uh, the all scumbags are sitting anyway. Um, so we got the Hummel. Gets a shot in on the Hummel. Hummel says, nah, fuck you, to the, <laughs> the M8. Um, uh, Jug fins off the Hummel. Cuts himself an M37 to shoot. It's up to seven kills. Pulls down to the bottom side. Ooh. And the artillery just, just a little outside. So, up to 8 kills, got 6 shells left, and he needs to find his last remaining uh, tank, which is the Chinu. Um, so, we're going to actually speed it up a little bit here, because he's going to drive around for quite a while. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to check every corner, but yeah, he's, he's going to check every corner. And he's off. I didn't even ask him how many miles he, 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 he drove to find this tank. But he did. He was all over the place looking for this. But, so he says, screw it. I'm just going to pull in to cap. Four minutes left. If he wants me, come and get the shit. Uh, so we'll see uh, We'll see what happens here. And this is and this is what you should do. I mean, if you're going to spend the game chasing around after a, a, a another, another tank, when you can very easily just pull into cap and, uh, you know, Wait for, uh, wait for them to come. So either wins either way. So it's a, like I said, real good game.
Sitting at eight. Got a Radley's. Got a tie caliber. Got a <sighs> Top Gun. I'm sure probably all kinds of sort of shit metal. He told me the fucking medalist was was pretty impressive. Finds the Chinu. Chinu's sitting back there, looking, looking, looking. Chuck backs up a little bit. Finds him. Ooh, waits for him. Waits for it slowly to aim in. Pops a shell into him. 92 damage. He's done. 2,500 damage. All the medals. All the glory. All the anime chicks. All in one game. So, great job to you, Chug. Nine kills. And all that kind of crap. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I have more.